fact of the matter is, when a comic book convention comes to town, the circus has come to town. Remember when you were a little kid and the circus right. came to town? This is a circus that lasts for two or three days. There's usually a, you know, a certain amount that comes back, of course. Well, the hope is you had to sell every single bit of it to come back with an empty van. What is happening in America with these comic book conventions? Do you know that there's like 70 comic book conventions in America? There's a convention in Utah right now with 35,000 people there, and we're at a convention here that's probably gonna have 45,000 people on the same weekend. San Diego has 160,000 people. New York has 140,000 people at their convention. Every large city in America can afford to have a comic book convention. Every large city. I mean, we're taking over the world. It's more about the I don't know, being a part of what is essentially the biggest comic book event in the area, you know, uh, being around our people. <laughs> um, do we want to sell stuff? Well, sure, absolutely. But, uh, I don't know, we don't think about it in terms of goals, really. All comic book conventions in all cities are growing by between 15 and 100%. 15 and 100%. You know what that means? That means there are more people coming to comic book conventions than buy comic books. <laughs> Nobody buys comic books anymore. It's so terrible. Comic book is like a, is considered a success if it sells 100,000 copies. There's over two million people going to comic book conventions at a minimum. You could probably say four million in a given year. Now, if we could just convince those people to buy comic books, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Back? Is that you? about done? Getting there. Um, these are all empties here. Then we got all the little supplies, odds and ends. One more pass through to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Yeah, it was real busy both days, you know. Um, got to see a lot of cool people. Yeah.